sad that they feed dog. All her goal is a shooter come through. I was hoping he'd stick around a little longer to see if that big buck was chasing the same doe or what. But I got some good footage of him and, uh, and he ran off chasing that doe. Came back and I decided I was gonna shoot him but then ran off chasing the doe again. So if he comes back through with that doe, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pull the trigger on him. All right, I'm about to pack it in for the morning. Um, I had a good hunt. Watched that coal seven point for a good couple minutes. Was chasing this doe around, eventually chased her off. I decided if he'd come back in, I'd shoot him and never came back in. Um, I just didn't want to blow up my, my hunt that early in the morning. Uh, by shooting that seven point, wanted that nine point to come out. So I gave it some time. And it would have been the biggest buck I shot on the ranch. So it's fun to watch. I got some good footage of it though. I got out of the truck. I got this coal seven point coming in. a shooter though, but he's still in the area. Still alive. I'm just sitting behind this wood pile here. I decided I'm not gonna make a move. I'm gonna make a move. Seems like all the black all the white tail are going to this side of the ranch. See if I can't spot that seven point. Alright, I'm move spots. Want some white down chase over here. Oh that's that ten point. Oh 
man. Oh, f put those bucks. I got two big bucks chasing a doe over here. So I came over to this other side of the bridge and watched the seven. That seven point I saw earlier over there. And this ten point that I have on camera chasing this doe all across this back fence line. So very excited to see that those two bucks are alive. Um, just hoping that doe runs them back through here tonight. But um, in the morning I'll be setting up with some rattling antlers and then hopefully uh, Hopefully we can get him to come close. Either one's a good shooter. That 10 point's a little bit younger than that seven. Both nice low fence bucks though. So it'd be hard to pass that 10 point up. There he is. There he is. They're back. They're back.
Come on, go down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. So he came back out here, not much shooting light left. And I got, I got him down on the ground. I ended up getting three in him. He kept walking. I hit him once, man, and he, he bowed, he bowed up. Hit him twice, hit him a third time. He went down, but God, shaking. That's my first old willow buck. Had an encounter with him opening morning. And man, he slipped up. He's been chasing that doe. He's a lot more mature than that 10 point that's bigger than him. So I'm happy with taking this mature, that 10 point. Got it, some footage of it. I'd like for him to live a year. He'd be a monster, monster. I saw him go down. I feel good about it. I'm in. I definitely think I got three bullets in him. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it some time and then come back out and try to recover him. Hey, we got we got a big buck down. We got a big buck down. We got a big buck down. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Literally got to the ranch with 30 minutes of sunlight, shooting light left, and saw that seven point that uh, I have on camera. Had an encounter with him earlier this year. Saw him chase a doe off from where I was sitting originally, and then we, uh, I made a move over and and was sitting in our barn, our tractor barn, uh, just watching that field, you know, kind of scouting for the uh, morning hunt. Saw him and that, that 10 point run out, chasing a doe, they disappeared, and then right with a couple minutes left to shooting light, came back out in shooting range. That seven point came following that doe and he slipped up. I put three rounds in him. I mean, first round he hunched up, it was a good hit. Um, but I still had shots and he wasn't moving fast, so I, I kept putting him in it, you know, didn't want to lose him. I'm gonna give it 30 minutes here, um, and then me and Opie are gonna go try to look for him. I saw him go down though, so. Pump, never shot a mature buck like this on Old Willow. Never shot really anything other than a spike here, so excited to get my hands on it. Opie, hunt it up. Hunt it up, Opie. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that, Opie. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. That's a mature bug for, for the whole country here. Hitting the protein, it's a protein hog. Oh, babe! What do you think about that, girl? First one will back. Thank you, Lord. That's an impressive deer. 
That is an impressive deer. All right, guys, here it is. Um, awesome, awesome buck to shoot out here, mature buck. Um, man, it's awesome to take my first buck on this piece of property. You know, I've had probably 15 friends take their first deer out here. You know, we've never had real big bucks or mature deer. This uh, this is the most mature, biggest buck we've taken off this place ever. Super excited about that, man! Unbelievable. We have a herd of black buck on on the property, and we supplement feed him protein. This guy was hitting that black buck protein hard. He's a big boy. Hopey, what do you think? Couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier. We got one, two, three on this side. One, two, three, four. Awesome buck. Awesome buck. <laughs>